Section 86 of In the Nursery of My Book House. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Rebecca, www.bluebird-experience.com. In the Nursery of My Book House, edited by Olive Beaupre Miller. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little house of their own in a wood. There was a great huge bear who was the father bear, a middle-sized bear who was the mother bear, and a tiny wee bear who was the baby bear. They had each a pot for their porridge, a little pot for the tiny wee bear, a middle-sized pot for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge pot for the great huge bear. One morning, the three bears found their porridge was too hot, so they left it to cool in their porridge pots and went for a walk in the woods. While they were gone, a little girl came along. She was called Goldilocks because her hair shone like gold, and she too was out for a walk in the woods. I wonder who lives here, she said to herself as she saw the funny little house. She knocked, and she knocked, and she knocked, but nobody came. Then, without ever stopping to think that she had no business to enter where she was not invited, she opened the door and peeped in. There on the table were the three pots of porridge, the great huge pot, the middle-sized pot, and the tiny wee pot. Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the great huge pot, but it was too hot. So, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized pot but that was too cold. Then she tasted the porridge in the tiny wee pot, and that was just right. So she ate it all up. Now in the room she saw three chairs, a great huge chair, a middle-sized chair, and a tiny wee chair. So Goldilocks sat down in the great huge chair, but that was too hard. Then she sat down in the middle-sized chair, but that was too soft. So she tried the tiny wee chair, and that was just right. But no sooner had she gotten quite comfortable than there was a crash and a bang. The tiny wee chair broke into tiny wee pieces and spilled Goldilocks on the floor. So Goldilocks went into the bedroom. There she saw a great huge bed, a middle-sized bed, and a tiny wee bed. First she lay down on the great huge bed, but that was too hard. Then she lay down on the middle-sized bed, but that was too soft. At last she lay down on the tiny wee bed, and that was just right. So Goldilocks curled up under the covers and fell fast asleep. After a while, along came the three bears who lived in the house. The great huge bear who was the father bear, the middle-sized bear who was the mother bear, and the tiny wee bear who was the baby bear. When the great huge bear saw his pot, he roared in his rough, gruff voice, Who has been tasting my porridge? When the middle-sized bear saw her pot, she cried out in her middle-sized voice, Who has been tasting my porridge? And when the tiny wee bear saw his pot, he squealed in his tiny wee voice, Who has been tasting my porridge and eaten it all up? When the great huge bear saw his chair, with the cushion all flattened down, he roared in his rough, gruff voice, Who has been sitting in my chair? And the middle-sized bear, when she saw the cushion all flattened down on her chair, cried in her middle-sized voice, who has been sitting in my chair? And when the tiny wee bear, when he saw what had happened to his chair, squealed in his tiny wee voice, Who has been sitting in my chair and broken it all to pieces? So they went into the bedroom, and when the great huge bear saw his bed with the covers all crumpled up, he roared in his rough, gruff voice, Who has been lying on my bed? And the middle-sized bear, when she saw her bed, with the covers all crumpled up, cried in her middle-sized voice, 
who has been lying on my bed? And the tiny wee bear, when he looked at his bed, squealed in his tiny wee voice, Here she is! Here she is! Fast asleep in my little bed! His voice woke Goldilocks up and she opened her eyes. Grrr! growled the great huge bear in his rough, gruff voice. Grrr! growled the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Grrr! growled the tiny wee bear in his tiny wee voice. When Goldilocks heard them all growling around her, she was very sorry indeed that she hadn't stopped to think before she entered their house and meddled with their things. Before you could say, Jack Robinson, she jumped out of bed, rushed to the window, climbed out, and ran back home as fast as her legs would carry her. End of section 86. Recording by Rebecca.